What's good? What's good? This is Thick of the Stick of the Podcast. Hey, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel. Hey, I appreciate all the love and support. Throw me a hint that I hope you're doing good physically, mentally, spiritually, financially. And if you're new to the channel, man, don't forget to subscribe before you leave, man. Hey, yo, yo, yo. I remember as a kid, man, my pops taught me many, many lessons. And one lessons that one of the main lessons he taught me was like how to be a man, how to stand on your own two feet. And if if you're gonna have a woman beside you, you gotta be able to provide, provide for your family, and 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 do things the right way. You know, you don't you don't have to do uh, things just to get attention. You don't have to start something just to to get the attention from people. You don't have to clout chase nobody. You don't you don't have to chase nobody, man. Just continue doing you. Be positive. Continue praying 100 percent you know. And uh let's get to it, man. He <laughs> la chingao, bro. Yo, 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 man. Look, this guy right here, Adam 22, is something special. And I'm talking about yellow bus pulling up the little cheese wagon kind of special. You know what I mean? I just don't get it, man. What is the point of you interviewing pop? smokes killer like I, I, I that, that that just don't sit well with me because you reopening uh cuts that don't need to be open these wounds ain't even being healed there's some people out there that that lost maybe a brother a, a son a good friend and you you interviewing these people just for attention because the podcast ain't doing good man no jumper, man. They ain't doing what it needs to be doing. And every time I look at this podcast, all I see is division. You're dividing um, our people pretty much. The Latino community, any Latino that gets in on there, man, you see them trying to bicker and fight with somebody else. The black community, man, how many people did he let go of because certain things were happening in these podcasts? And my question is this, who will want to work with him? And why would you want to work with him? If you see that this man doesn't have a soul, doesn't care about you, he throws rocks and be like, I, I didn't see nothing. Uh-uh. I don't know. You don't say, I mean, no entiendo. That kind of vibe. He gives you that kind of vibe every time. And then he brings uh, a, a certain artist like a Kodak Black, right? You know, we know that Kodak Black went through some things in his life. You know, he battled some addictions. But why we open those conversations in a negative way that even Kodak Black is like, I ain't even speaking about your wife. But let's not talk about your wife. And, they, and, 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 and on that subject about that wife, I think Adam 22 got some explaining to do. Oh, better yet, check out this picture. Yeah, they look like a happy couple to me, man. It look like they went on vacation together. They got a chance to know each other. Talk about future plans. Set up some goals. Hey, how you been? Hey, how we gonna make this work where your man doesn't get upset? How, how can I be part of your life? That's what it looks like. And look, I'm gonna be honest with you. Lil' the plug been having a thing for Jason Loves for way, way long ago, man. And now this is her opportunity. So she got busted down, piped down, you know, the first time. And now it looks like they just, it's, it's a mutual thing, you know? And the thing is, this is what you, what you gentlemen got to understand. You give a woman a opening to do certain things. Trust me when I say this. They go off emotions. And it's okay. They're emotional creatures. They're beautiful in every way. But when you give a woman that kind of power and that kind of it's saying, yeah, baby, go ahead, baby. Do your thing. It ain't the same if it's a guy doing it. Let's just keep it 100. How I many dogs out there where my dogs at that you just say you know what i'm just gonna pipe this down i don't give a damn what happens afterwards I, I'm, I ain't trying to wife her i ain't trying to be her friend i ain't even want people to see me with her she don't even gotta be my side piece i just need something to pipe down so you know it ain't never gonna be the same but my my initial thought of this guy why is it that we allowing this to happen in the hip-hop community and the reason why I speak about the hip hop hip hop community because I love it, man. I've, I've been I've been a fan, and I also done music myself. I performed in a lot of stages, and one thing, man, is that I don't use I, I don't use the hip hop culture. I respect it, I value it, and I see it for what it is. Some people get in it for the narrow, of course, 
But at, at one point, do we say this is a culture vulture? This person does not want anything good to happen because if you see when the Latinos get in there, they're getting into it with blacks. When the blacks get in there, they get into it with the blacks. When the blacks get into it, they get in with Latinos. It, it, like this is all, it's just divisive. It's like just dividing. And I ain't gonna lie to you. I think Adam 22 got a thing for Morenos, man. Low key, yeah, I think he does. And this man right here would do anything for attention. Even sacrifice his marriage, his wife, and we all know why why he got married. You know, it's not because of love and all that. Because y'all could have been in a relationship if y'all gonna be in an open relationship. But he got with her. So when you know when the media and the in the, the titles come out there, Adam Twenty Two's wife instead of Adam Adam Twenty Two baby mama. You know what I mean? But I don't know, man. I, I don't know how we still pay attention to this guy. You are interviewing people that killed uh, uh, celebrities and artists that people still enjoy their music still listen to him and you interview him like hey bro you know um explain to us that night how, how, how'd you feel and the guys coming out here like i ain't got no remorse i'm not sorry about nothing it is what it is it wasn't a setup it, like bro we don't need to hear all that and look me personally i don't listen to it like that i see short clips because it comes it comes through my timeline but i just can't sit there and be like man so my question to y'all right now, right? Serious question. If the podcast is being shot and recorded at in Cali, why in California nobody's checking anything? We just, it's a lot of employees from California, a lot of gangsters in California that are getting, getting a, 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 their, their shine on, they're getting this platform, but at what point do we just say, you know what, this is where the line's at, right? And even Latinos too, y'all out there too. I mean, I, I didn't see a few, I ain't gonna name a certain artists, but I seen a lot a few Latino artists that this guy will literally, Adam 22, will find a way, his weasel his way in this, and figure out a way how to throw some of these upcoming Latino artists to go against each other. But like I said, that's the line right there, right? Who is going to be like, enough is enough. We got to stop this. This don't even make sense for us to continue even being interviewing these in these in that platform. And also, why even work for a man like that? With a man that doesn't stand for any values, doesn't stand for any morals. We saw what happened with Crip Mac. Like, he doesn't care about nobody. All he cares is about that dinero. At first, with the whole end of the plug, I thought it was about the money move. And now I'm like, okay, now she's back with Jason Love. So it ain't a money. Look, man, all I got to say is at some point in time, if we quick to do this uh, cancel culture or call these culture vultures and we try to cancel certain artists, you know, from the Latino and the black community, we wouldn't have canceled them for whatever they believe in politics. But we're not, we're not canceling Adam 22. Something else is, it doesn't sound right to me, man. The money can't be that good. There's, there's certain things in life, right, that money can't buy. Loyalty, respect, morals, values, dignity. I mean, it's a lot more than that, but come on, man. You can't make this up. Disturbing podcast. That's what you need. That, that's the title should be Disturbing Podcast. Instead of No Jumper 20, it should be Disturbing Podcast out of 22. Uh, uh, look, I probably gave you a title. I might have to, you know, put it out there to the world and be like, I'm the one that created that platform. You know what I mean? I don't know, man. But y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Do me a favor. Subscribe to the channel. See the Gusta Look at Me to press like. Share this video on your social media platforms. Drop a comment in the comment section. I'm always interacting with me. Hand that to the side. Hit the notification bell to get notified. Visit the website r2drec.com. And always remember, have peace in your heart. Have faith. And never give up. All right. One. What's good? What's good? This is Stiko. Hey, do me a favor, man. Somewhere on here, you get a chance to check out my other channel. I release all my music there. We have a lot of music coming out this year. Y'all definitely don't want to miss out. Do me a favor as well. Check out the website, r2drec.com. Purchase your merchandise. Let's keep this moving going. Thank you for all the love and support, and thank you for being patient with me. Hey, let's get it this year. All right, one.